Welcome to Tuesday, the 23rd of November, 2021. This day with our podcast being brought to you by Chug Water Chili, the gourmet spice of Western life. If you're sitting around this week, Thanksgiving week, going, I need to get my Christmas shopping done, well, go to chugwaterchili.com and you can take advantage 20% off of all Chug Water Chili products this week. Holiday discount number four. Take advantage of these discounts at chugwaterchili.com. Where's the cold and snow? People are saying, I have never seen it so warm and mild in November before. Well, actually, we've had Novembers like this before. However, this one is quite remarkable in terms of how mild and really dry it's been. When it's gotten cold, it hasn't stayed cold very long. And that's exactly what's going to happen again. We're going to see a cold front move in tonight and tomorrow. So Wednesday is going to be noticeably colder across the region. After a mild day today, late tonight and tomorrow, there is going to be some snow in the high country. And that'll lead to a few travel concerns. We'll highlight that here in a minute, but only a few snow showers in the plains. Then no major systems Friday through Sunday. So holiday travel weather for Friday and the weekend looks okay. There is a little system that may produce some mountain snow showers Friday night and Saturday, but I think they'll stay up high. And as we get into next week, deep into next week, there is nothing coming. Monday through Thursday of next week looks mild, looks dry and windy, but nothing that looks bad at all. So we're going to go through the last days of November with really nothing bad coming. However, this pattern change we talked about yesterday and been talking about for the last couple of weeks is still on schedule after the 3rd of December. And probably through all of the month of December, you're likely going to find the weather pattern a much different situation than we have now. The phase one of La Nina continues with a generally west to east flowing pattern. This is why it's been so mild this fall season. And we had a lot of this last fall as well. You know, it really wasn't until December last year before winter decided to get going here. And that's exactly what's going to happen again this year. As we take a look, we do have a little bit of a wave coming into Washington and Oregon today. This is what's going to come in late tonight and tomorrow and swing through the Rockies. As it does so, it quickly exits and moves to the east by noon Thursday. So by Thanksgiving Day Thursday, the system is already biased. And this is exactly the classic Phase 1 La Nina, fast-moving troughs that just don't linger. They come in, and they hit you, and then they're gone. You get cold, then you get warm again. You can see a nose here of high pressure coming into California and the western United States right behind that wave. This is what precipitation looks like with this front. Notice a couple of areas. Right here, we actually have a fair amount of moisture where they haven't seen it in a while. Southern and Southwest Colorado, parts of New Mexico and Arizona, you are gonna see some rain and high elevation snow out of this. And then on the Northern part of the trough, you can see the rain and snow that's gonna be coming up here across the Northern Rockies. So if you are gonna be traveling tonight and Wednesday along the higher reaches of I-70, I-80, I-25 and I-90 and the mountain passes of Montana, Idaho and Wyoming and Colorado and northern New Mexico. If you've got to go up over those mountain passes, that's where tonight and Wednesday you're going to run into travel problems. But you can see once you get off the mountains, there really is not much to be worried about. So if you're going over a mountain pass tonight or tomorrow, be ready for that. This is what it looks like snowfall wise. So the high country and the ski area is desperately looking for some snow or are going to get a little bit of it. Now, by Friday, that system is all the way into New England that moved through earlier. We have a little bit of low that's been left behind here in northwest Mexico. There is a little ripple in the flow right here that's going to go this way. And this may produce some mountain snow showers again Friday night and early Saturday. But again, not to kick a dead horse here, but the westerly mild flow is the reason. So if you keep going, why is it so warm? Why haven't we gotten cold and snowy yet? It's because of this strong west-east flowing jet stream typical in a La Nina pattern. But I want you to notice the shape of the pattern now to what it'll be like in early December. This is that possible wave coming in overnight Friday and the Saturday morning. Could produce a little bit of snow shower activity in the high country, but again, mostly up high. As we go forward, this is for Tuesday and next week. We have a ridge of high pressure, so a very mild start to next week. But you can see over Alaska here, a trough and some really cold air. Also, see this orange, this uh, brighter color? This is a high pressure ridge beginning to form in the eastern Pacific. And this is going to be a real weather maker. Yes, a high pressure ridge is going to really end up dictating what happens as we get into early December. And we'll show you that here in a minute. 
So when you look at temperatures, this is the start next week. These are temperatures relative to average. So that Pacific influence is going to make the whole West, the Northern Plains and even South Central areas of Canada, relative to average warmer than normal. Although it is going to be colder than normal for most of the East and Southeast United States. Then you see the purple up here. Well, there's the cold that is building. So we're kind of being squeezed in between two cold areas with warm air getting funneled on in. But this up here starts to have a bigger influence later on. And here we are. This is for the late time frame of Thursday night into Friday morning of next week. So this is basically a week from this Friday. You see this ridge. You see how we have several bright red colors here. And if you were to count the number of circles or areas of equal pressure around this high, the more you have those closed circles, the stronger the ridge. So when you build a ridge here, the west goes into the fridge. High pressure building in the eastern Pacific displaces the cold air that's building up here. So when you're in these west to east flows like we are now, you need to amplify the flow. And that's exactly what's happening. And that's why early December is going to allow colder air to move into the western United States. The question is the extent. How deep will the cold air be and how long will it last? If this ridge goes away, then we go back to La Nina phase one. But we're likely not going to see that happening. The reason why, this is the 10-day forecast, but now we're looking at the northern hemisphere. So we're looking from space down to the North Pole. So here's the United States. I put some H's here to show you what's happening or forecasted to happen. A very strong eastern Pacific ridge forms and that Greenland block we talked about last week is forming. So when you have a big ridge in the Pacific, a big ridge in the Atlantic, where does the cold air get forced to go? Well, it goes over the continents, basically. It goes over Europe. It goes over here into parts of Eastern Europe, Western Europe. It also goes over into parts of Siberia, and it also gets bottled up here from the North slopes of Alaska through the continental United States and Canada. This pattern can be stagnant, meaning it can hold for a while because the high pressure ridges get really, really strong. So you see this red area here wanting to extend up. If we see that red area grow here and this high pressure maintains itself, well, the cold air gets bottled up with nowhere to go. And so that's why the weather patterns are likely going to shift out of this unseasonably warm and dry to a weather pattern that will look a little more familiar to you once we get into late next week and into the month of December. However, it's another seven to 10 days before this happens. So we're going to be able to ride this mild wave for a little bit longer. So here's your cue. Put your Christmas lights up this week or this weekend. This will likely be the last real mild weekend for a while based on what we're seeing here as we go to phase two of La Nina at the end of next week and into the month of December. When you look at temperatures, this is by Friday into Friday night in the north slope of Alaska. You see the minus 40 right here? That's minus 40. And you're looking at a lot of minus 30s up there. So the cold air is there. It just hasn't had a chance to come south. So we're seeing the temperatures continue to get colder up there and the cold continues to get more extensive. It just doesn't have the opportunity to head south yet. Have yourself a good Tuesday. We'll see you tomorrow.